Hello, this is Chris and Magoosh, and today we are going to deal with the data interpretation question. But I'm here to help you because oftentimes these questions seem really time consuming and overwhelming because there's so much information floating around. But I'm going to show you how you can quickly home in on the solution. Let's get started. Okay, notice all these numbers. They're asking us what? What is the median number of televisions per household? Meaning we have households that have zero televisions, one television, two televisions, etc. What does median actually mean though? Do we have to calculate all these numbers? Well, median means just the one right in between. And so when you have 100 households as we have here, because it's based on percent, you want to find what? What's the very middle number? Well, the one that is actually between 50 and 51, which is kind of complicated already. And you're like, well, what? I have to find what the number is between 50 and 51 because the median technique is 50.5 and you can already see the wheels turning. I'm getting scared. I'm thinking, ah, oh, the time is running down. Well, think of it this way. You don't have to get an exact number with the GRE unless you get to an answer choice and then you're like, oh gosh, it could be two possible answers. But that's usually not the case. So let's just go with 50. If you look at the percent here, which one is at the 50 percentile? Well, you add up the first couple, zero, one, and two here, and you get to 48 percent. That means that we're not quite at the median yet. The median is between 50 and 51. That has to lay, lie somewhere in the three TVs per household category. And that's it. That's our answer, three TVs per household. And so you don't have to get that exact number. Well, between 50 and 51 is three and three, and then we have to divide by two to give us the exact median, which would be three. No, we already have the answer, and we didn't feel like we had to calculate all these numbers and find some average because mean is not the same thing as median. So as long as you pay attention to all those things, 10 to 15 seconds max, and you can home in on the correct solution. So if you like that tip, there are plenty more out there. In fact, click on the link in the description below and you can get more of our GRE math tips. And of course, if you like videos like this one, then click on the ones to the left. And I will see you next time.